Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Uh, today, we're looking at some darkroom experiments that I've been working on. In the previous video, I talked about some darkroom negatives that I had made on paper. And now I'm going to talk about some contact prints that I made from this. So, I took the negative, I placed it upside down on top of some photographic paper in a little quick set up dark room, pretty much put aluminum foil over the window to block out light. I then put a piece of glass on top. I then shone a light for about the count of 10. And then from there, just developed the paper as you would develop um, RC paper, resin coated paper. Uh, I want to talk about each one and some things that I've noticed with this contact printing process. So there's my negative, and here's the original. The first thing that I experimented with was just time and then using filters. So here is the first one. This is about um, 10 seconds to the count of 10. And I noticed throughout in different ones, some areas are a little hazy and some are a little bit sharper. I used a five by seven piece of glass to set the one flat on top of the other, but I don't think the glass was heavy enough to make a super smooth contact. So I did get some issues with that. One thing that I did see is that some people will wet both the paper that they're printing onto and the negative, and then from there we'll do that contact print. And I'm thinking that the wetting might help it uh, just stay flatter, get a better contact between the two. But I'm going to experiment with heavier glass first. Because uh, eventually, I think RC paper starts to peel at the edges. Resin coated paper. So this one was 10 seconds. Then, from there, I held a variable contrast filter in front of the light as a kind of makeshift, just... Uh, filter holder and that genuine that if I believe correctly if I get it correct that it'll change the contrast route and you'll see that in the next few examples um, what it's doing to the light I'm not exactly sure but I'm literally just standing there holding it and I held a number zero the numbers go from zero to five and as you increase it I believe there's more contrast it does limit the amount of light through. You can see it's lighter than the original. So I eventually experiment with more than 10 seconds. This was a 2.5 filter. So zero and then 2.5, so more contrast, but it kind of looked more washed out. Uh, I think it's probably a matter of aesthetics. I'm not really the best with photography and photography aesthetics, but that's one of the reasons I'm doing this is that it kind of will help me with composition and tonal values. I then went 20 seconds on the zero filter and comparing that to the 10 seconds, you could see darker, more exposure comparing it to the original there's a slight difference between the two i'm not sure if it shows up on um, the camera i then went 20 seconds on the 2.5 looking at it now i think i prefer this one to the um the zero filter i'm not quite sure i'll just have to look at it more it's all experimenting and seeing then I changed paper. So this was uh, a glossy paper. Um, Foma was the brand. No, a matte, matte paper from Foma. I'm sorry. Then I switched over to what I believe the brand is like multi-grade paper. I had just experimented with just um, straight no filter, 10 seconds. It seems like 10 seconds worked without uh, any filters present. Then I created one with a filter and went for 20 seconds. 
So for me, uh, for a 7.5 watt bulb at the height that it's at, and it's gonna vary for people. If you try this, you have to kind of just experiment yourself. Um, 10 without filter, 20 with a filter, just holding it and counting it to 20 is what's worked. Then this one is the Ilford brand. I don't think I held, yeah, I didn't hold a uh, filter at all for this one. This was also me just comparing papers. I'm most likely going to order more of this uh, multi-grade one. It's just uh, such a low price compared to everything else. And at the level that I'm at, I don't think I need top of the line professional stuff. This is just fun experiments. Probably give them out as gifts or um, maybe make postcard sets. Anywho, the next photo is from a 30 second exposure. And I believe that is this fellow right here. The only difference, 30 uh, second exposure with the negative, is that we would have a smoother sky and smoother water because we we're exposing for 30 seconds. If you look between this one and the previous, you probably see a little bit of smoother water between them. If I used, I think, neutral density filters over it, that would make it go even slower film because I was using it at a rating of one, so I was using it very slow to begin with. But if I use uh, filters to make it even slower, I could probably get a really smooth, washy, pinhole type effect. This was going back to the matte paper from FOMA. This was me jumping to a five, number five variable filter. I believe it was 20 seconds. And I believe that that would have had to go longer. You could just see how um, contrasty and washed out that looks. But it might have been a good path to take to get the old timey look. Then switching paper brands, this is the uh, multigrade, I believe. And last but not least, the Ilford. And you can see, hopefully it shows up that this is nice and clear, crisp. This one is not right there. And like I said, I just think it's from the weight of my glass was not heavy enough to keep it nice and smooth. So that's that. That's a long-winded experiment with contact printing paper negatives. So I don't have an enlarger yet. And that's what I've been up to in regards to prints. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it made sense. If you have any ideas, let me know down below. If you'd like to, uh, thank you to my Patreon followers and y'all support because you guys help make these experiments possible. Um, this is just a lot of fun, so I'm having a great time with it. And if you'd like to see more of anything, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel and these experiments, I have a whole bunch of links down below. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, let me know. All right, y'all have a great day, and stay safe.